This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Please feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live and when I upload all this content. So Leo, this is for Leo sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Leo influences your chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. This is a look at the week ahead for the zodiac sign of Leo. Leo, Leo energies, Leo energies for the next seven days, Leo energies, Leo energies, Leo energies, Leo energies, Leo, 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 Leo energies for the next seven days. Crowning your reading. Two energies. In reverse, be at home and see the big picture. You're not feeling comfortable at all. You're feeling extremely disoriented. This week, you are feeling like you are not in the right place and that it's almost like you're stuck somewhere you don't want to be. This is maybe actually a place. You may be stuck away from home, but also you could be stuck, you could be stuck at home and not feel like you really belong there. It's almost like not being at home at home. There's this sense of, almost hopelessness in a way that it's almost like, how do I get out of here? I can't figure out a way out of this. There's some sort of situation or problem that you feel is insurmountable or feels insurmountable. You keep looking for ways out, but almost it feels like you become sort of like a voracious, almost Wolverine that you'll be able to, you'll do anything to get out. So this is a sensation of really being frustrated. So this could have nothing to do with your home or where you are right now. It just has to do with really being frustrated and agitated and irritated and basically not being able to see the forest through the trees, like looking at things and just getting angry and getting pissed at what you see right in front of you. And the big picture is hard for you to look at right now. You may, this may be because you're getting a glimpse of the underbelly of something. It's almost like a lot of stuff is being thrown at you that is not attractive, it's not easy, it's not fun, it's really sensationally irritating this week. So crowning your energy is a lot of frustration, um, a sensation of just wanting to get out of where you are but not being able to feel like you can escape or not being able to feel like you can get away, feeling obligated to do things that you don't want to do, uh, just a lot of like pent up energy of when is this Gonna, when is this going to clear? You know, almost like I thought I was supposed to be in a good place, but I don't feel like I'm in a good place. In fact, I don't want to be here at all. Emo it could be emotionally. It could be, um, it could be geographically. There's just an overall essence this week of not feeling like you're, you are, like, uh, like where you are is not where you're supposed to be and really being frustrated and maybe even wanting to pop off a lot of people. So, <laughs> okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Leo energy, Leo, 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 Leo. This could also be a feeling of not trusting somebody, a sensation of feeling like they are not who you thought they were. So somebody that you were supposed to, somebody or something, a situation that you were supposed to feel comfortable with is, is making you extremely uncomfortable. Not trusting somebody that you used to trust. There's a sense of your home being disrupted. So something going on in the home has been disrupted and home doesn't feel like home anymore. Now this doesn't have to be your real home. This could just be something that you're doing, something that you had dedicated yourself to, your vocation. Things like, like anything that you had, had at once felt like it was a part of you, it's starting to really, really agitate you or people in the same profession or field or um, people that are working with you, they're starting to really, really frustrate you and irritate you. And you, you're like at a point where you're having a hard time sort of holding back your frustration because you've tried to be polite and people ain't listening. So Leo, this is watch and wait. A sense, um, this is Piscean energy, so it could very well be um, a Piscean Neptunian energy, sort of asking you to just just take patience, take time, be okay with what's here right now. That things are going to get better, but it is exactly like as soon as I held up the card, I felt like get it out of my face. I don't want to see it. I don't want to watch. I don't want to wait for. Sh 
I just want this to be clear or cleared up and I want this to be over with. You could be dealing with a Piscean and be very, very frustrated with them for being so casual and being so cool and being so all over the place and not making up their mind and not making a decision or not being able to decide. Or what you feel is be keeping things, especially things that are extremely important to you keeping things in limbo so that they're not moving forward and that you're not seeing any progress you're like wait a second i i did the work i put in the energy and now you're just sort of like like playing around and and, and like hanging back like like it's 4 20 all day if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's like there's this energy of just not so, like somebody, somebody in particular frustrating you because they have a totally different perspective of how to behave, you know, of, oh, and this could be very well, like somebody that you actually felt close to is now frust the, the, the primary focus of your frustration because of the fact that they're so chill about everything and they know that you're not chill about it and they don't seem to be doing anything. It's almost like they're turning their head in the opposite direction and not confronting things and leaving you to confront everything by yourself. Very, very frustrating. Know your worth. I think you do know your worth, you know, but I think that you've been, this is a card of trying too hard. I feel like you have felt like you have had to overcompensate and it could be because it doesn't have to be a Piscean, but because this other person or this other, you know, if, if they're a teammate at work, whatever it is, this other person has been looking in the opposite direction and not at least you feeling like they haven't been contributing. So there's this sense of you having to overcompensate for their lack of concern or their lack of attention to this circumstance or situation. At least this is how you're feeling and it's, it's making you angry. There's a lot of rage and fire building up inside of you and it's taking a lot for you to just contain yourself if you're on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions I'm gonna slide one in here Leo and I will be back in about 30 seconds thank you for your patience so thank you for your patience and for sitting through that commercial break if you had to if not lucky dog um, but if so that is actually sponsorship of the channel when you let that commercial run and I'm very grateful for it believe in yourself Right. Um, I, I, I do feel like there's a sensation of almost you got to just keep going. You got to you got to you feel like you're all alone. You feel like the only person you have is yourself. You feel like basically your pride, not your pride, but your pride is in the people around you. It's almost you feel like they, that you that they've abandoned you or they're not working hard enough or this investment that you've been working on supposedly is supposed to be all together. You're the only one out there pushing. You honestly feel like you're the only one out there pushing. You're the only one out there pushing for you. You're the only one out there pushing for this project. And you don't understand why other people are not working as hard as you are because it affects everybody. It doesn't just affect you. Maybe these are people on your team, you know, and, and, and maybe just maybe there's a little bit of ego coming through just because it will make you look bad if you don't succeed. So you have been working overtime and overcompensating, you feel, for people's lack of participation. Now, yes, you do believe in yourself, but you believe almost in a sense like you're doing too much, like you're, you're working too hard. And you kind of are, to be totally honest with you. Be fearless and bold. This is you, once again, getting out there and putting on a happy face, putting on the face of... I feel great. What are you talking about? Like on the surface, you're, you look like you're solid. So I don't think that other people are aware that this is going on inside of you. And maybe that's part of the problem, Leo, is that you're on the outside. You don't crack. You're not cracking. And maybe you need to, to show people that you are frustrated, but you continue to keep up appearances and make everything look like it's going to be okay and get frustrated and frustrated and more and more frustrated Maybe the people honestly don't know that you're disappointed. I know it seems like, of course they know. They, of course they know. They should know. What are you talking about? Of course they know. I don't think that they know because you've been so good and working so hard. And on the outside, it seems to them like it's just that, that you love what you do and you believe in what you do. And they're like, all right, he or she's got it. Leo's got it. Okay, cool. We'll step back then. It's, it, they want to take over. They can take over. And you're, you're keeping your exterior you're looking like, oh, I'm all together. I'm, I'm totally cool. This is totally cool. But interior, you're like, these people, are you kidding me? When are they going to catch up to me? When are they going to participate? You know, like, when's the team going to play? 
Like I can't be out here by myself the whole time. So I think that one of the issues is that you have kept things together so well and you aren't cracking enough. 55, got to change. You got to make some change. Healing has to occur. This is a time for you to heal and you're not going to heal if you don't show people what is real. Okay. So you really have to get real with people and say, no, I'm like, if you, in other words, Leo, if you don't want to do even more work, then you have to not do more work. You have to stop. And I know that it seems risky to you because you're like, no, this is too important. I got to get this done. But at the same time, especially if this is a relationship with a specific person, the more you do, the less they'll do. It's like the more you take over, the more they'll allow you to. If you want them to participate equally to you, then you have to go 50% and not do any more. You have got to hang back. You've got to. This is a sense of feeling betrayed and, and once again, not feeling at home and feeling you have to, like, feeling like you have to tiptoe through the grass because at any point, somebody's going to try to snap out at you and try to get you. So this is getting you to a point where not only do you feel overworked and underappreciated, but it's getting you to a point where you actually feel like you may be being attacked by people. So it's gone a little bit over and you just feel like you really need a little time out. You really need to like step back and be like, just actually just disappear for a while. Life is a mystery. This is a, um, somebody in his, somebody's in a mask. Somebody is pretending once again that uh, wearing a false face. Somebody is wearing a false face and looking out of it to kind of take in a lot of information. So you can, you may feel like there's an actual um, traitor in your midst. Um, somebody faking and, and not really being sincere, being somebody who is actually out to get you instead of instead of somebody who is sincere. But I also just feel like this is once again you. This is um this is a card, this is a, a feeling of um you pretending like everything is okay and putting on a, a, a false face. Bring your ideas to life. Um <sighs> So you have been, bottom line is that's what you've been doing. And this, this, the thing is this, this is your priority. Your priority is getting this done. And you've been so focused on getting something done or making something work, whether it's a project, a business or a relationship, you have just been a hundred percent like pure blue fire. All the energy has been conducted through you. And I, I just think that you're almost like too high voltage now for anybody to come near and touch. Um, think on your feet. This is a Sagittarius energy. This could speak to the fact that we're in Sagittarius season, okay? But it's also a sense of be more playful, be more devil may care, step back a little bit, improvise, don't take things as seriously as you've been taking them. This is also a sense of maybe somebody else in your midst, like I said, is a little bit too playful. They're, t they're taking too many liberties. Um, they're, they're, they seem to be having a grand old time. And what are you sitting back here doing? That's very interesting. You are never alone. So you are loved. Um, this is an energy of a great love. This is an energy of a connection and a true love and a, a great companion. You have support. I feel like this is the truth, but you don't, you're, you don't, you don't, you don't feel it and you don't see it. This is challenging. This energy is challenging this energy. It's almost like, no, they're too lackadaisical to actually love me the way that I need to be loved right now. I need this feeling, but I'm getting this. Do I know if they're going to be there for me tomorrow? I'm not really sure feeling. The miracles are endless. So, okay. I mean, once again, when I when I'm pulling these cards, this these love cards and this miracles are endless. Um, it's almost like disbelief that I'm feeling in my head. That's what I'm feeling. So it's almost like yeah 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 bull because I don't feel any of this happening to me. That's sort of like the edge or the chip that I feel sitting on my shoulder when I read these cards. So I know that there's an energy of just being so agitated that you're not even able to see really what blessings are around you. This could also speak to a relationship starting to grow between you and a Sagittarius um, or you and a Taurus. This just could be, or, oh, shoot. 
or, or, or tend to the small things. This could be a relationship that you feel is building between a Sagittarius and a Taurus. And it's basically something that you've seen growing for a while. And you're really, really upset about it and pissed about it. This is just something, either just a relationship that you, I mean, you can see it happening. You see these little tidbits and these little hints and these little signs that something is popping off between them, but it doesn't seem like anything has been made official. It's almost like something is happening behind a mask and you're, this is why you're frustrated. You honestly feel like somebody is keeping something from you, that they're hiding it. And this could be, you feel like your child is hiding their boyfriend or girlfriend and you're not going to approve because they don't think you're going to approve and you wouldn't approve. This could be the person that you're dating. You feel like they have feelings for somebody else and you see it growing and you see it coming to life. You see little by little the tidbits coming together, but nobody's acknowledging it. And this is why you're extremely frustrated. You, you This is a big part of why you're extremely frustrated because you see something growing little by little. And it has to do with this relationship and you're just pissed. I don't really feel like this is cheating. I feel like this is somebody that you had your eyes on having their eyes on somebody else and you being really freaking pissed about it because you thought like, why would they look anywhere else? Well, I thought something was happening between you and me. And honestly, you just want to explode. But at the same time, you don't, you're not going to explode because you know it would make you look bad. So you're trying to keep everything together. This is really interesting energy. Let me flip the camera around so we can review the cards. Okay, Leo, there you go. A big spread. And I honestly feel like, you know, in the Sagittarius season, there could, you know, it's almost like I want to... I want to say to you, oh, this could be love that's in Sagittarius season popping off between you and a Taurus or little, little tidbits of love are starting to grow, something that you never thought would happen. But that's not the case that I feel. What I feel or the, what I feel like you feel is that you see a love growing, a little, little bits, little hints and little, you know, little uh, clues that there's a romance growing between, between two people that aren't you and you're pissed about it. You're pissed about it because this was something that you wanted. Now, this could also speak to that you, it may not be a relationship. It may be that you see other people being so fruitful and so abundant. And you're like, there's a little bit of jealousy. There's a feeling of, you got to be kidding me. Why isn't it happen happening for me? But you still, the center, the center energy, right? This is your grounding energy and this is your crowning energy. And your center energy isn't reflecting any of it. Your central energy is like, oh, I got all this. Yeah, I'm got, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, look at how beautiful I am. Look how amazing I am. And I think that that's part of your issue <laughs> is that you're not letting people see how you really feel inside. You're not shouting. You're not screaming. You're not showing that you're angry or upset or frustrated or pissed. And Leo, I really do feel like you need to let it out no matter how it makes you look. This is something that's hurting you inside and frustrating you. And it's at least something you've got to address with the people concerned. So I want to go a little bit more into this relationship and help to clarify who are these people and what is the issue. You know, maybe the cards will say it's actually for Leo. And there is going to be like little tidbits of love starting to form. But I just have this, it clashes with my intuitive understanding of what's going on. So let's go over. We're going to do a full tarot spread to clarify this reading. And I'll also do your romance reading over there too. The link is below, Leo. I'll see you over there.